Hey there, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we're going to be building a saloon. Now, I'm not too sure what exactly inspired me to build a saloon this week, but I think part of it is because I was kind of in the mood to build a community lot. Now, for this particular community lot, since it was a saloon, I thought it made more sense to list it as a lounge rather than a bar, mainly because of the lot type requirements. Now, when you're making a bar, you need at least one television, and that wasn't something that I really wanted to put in here, though I wasn't completely sure what I wanted it to look like either. Since I knew I wanted a stage though, I figured we could make this into a lounge, and I really wanted an upright piano, but I don't think that's even an item that I've seen on any packs in The Sims. So a regular piano had to do, and I put a microphone even though that's for comedy, but let's just pretend that this is a stage where musicians or even comedians can come through nowadays. Now even though this is a saloon, and it's still called a saloon, I consider this what it would be more now. Maybe it had a few renovations here and there. Now the inspiration for the outside, kind of the shape of it is a bit inspired from the front, is the Tumbleweed Saloon from Red Dead Redemption. Now ideally this would have actually been on a bit of an angle, but stairs don't like angles and I figured that the stairs going up to the second floor on the outside were visually more important than the one going up to the main door. So again, since we can't have stairs on an angle, it does look a little bit different from the outside. But at the end of the day, it's inspired by, not exactly an imitation of. So on the inside, we have a few tables, a couple love seats, and a whole bunch of bar seating. Now, I did think that this would probably be a bit more of restaurant style, or at least it would serve some food, which it only has so much functionality if you don't have dine out. But you can still use it as if it was a bar and have your sim just go back there and make themselves some food, for example. I did make sure to have bathrooms in here as well, and a computer, which I imagine would be maybe the owner's office. But upstairs, I imagined it to be maybe somewhere that people would just go up there to see the show, probably get a better view. There's the office as well, and there's a room that I decided to call the gambling room, which maybe back in the day there were some shady deals going on in there. Who knows? Maybe they still do. Now, even where I put the garbage bins was where I imagined, well, maybe this was where they had the horses before, but that is something else that doesn't really exist in The Sims. And all in all, it was a very different build from what I've been doing. I really tried to keep a lot of woods in there. Unfortunately, I don't think all of it would be from the original build since saloons existed many, many years ago. I'm sure some of it would have had to be replaced by this point. But even in places that I wasn't able to keep the woods, I wanted to at least have some neutral paint here and there. Some of the reference pictures I was looking at really had just a lot of reclaimed wood that they even put on the ceiling. But in The Sims 4, we can't paint ceilings. It's all white, which is kind of a bummer depending on the angle that you're looking at this at. But I think I was able to get the feel across a bit more than I expected to. There were a bit more plants on the inside than I expected there to be. It did look a bit more restauranty than loungy at one point, but I wasn't mad at it especially because it's in Oasis Springs. I feel like any plants that people would have would definitely be more on the inside than the outside. So the landscaping on the outside was more, here's some succulents, here's some stones, for example. Even the paths have more sand than actual stones, since the lot I placed it on is very deserty. I didn't want it to be on a very green lot, since there was a certain feel that I wanted this lot to have. But all in all, I think it's the first lounge I've built in The Sims, and I'm pretty pleased with it. I feel like there's definitely definitely a vibe to it and I feel like it's one of those places that realistically I'd probably at least try to go especially if it looked like it had good food but would I be going there every night probably not then again I wouldn't go to a bar every night either but anyways we are getting close to the end of this video I know it was a bit of a shorter one but there's only so much you can do on these lots without it being too overbearing do let me know down below what you think of this one let me know what you'd like me to try out next and I hope to see you in the next video have a great weekend.